All right. Did you guys like that last series? Was that not awesome? Okay. So I wanted to um, do like a self interview with you on this video. Um, what questions should you ask real estate agents when you're thinking about hiring them to help sell your Guthrie, Oklahoma home or land? Okay. So what are, what are some of the questions you should ask a real estate agent like myself? What should you ask myself and my team when you're thinking about hiring us to help you sell your Guthrie, Oklahoma home or land? Those are the questions we're going to go about. These questions come straight from the National Association of Real so hopefully I can I can answer them in a way that shows confidence and shows how I've closed 610 deals in the past and how the uh, systems that my team and I use can help you accomplish your goals. So without any further ado, oh wait, wait, I got it. I got to tell you who I am. That's required by the Real Estate Commission. If you're new to the channel, my name is Josh Barnett. I'm an agent over XP Realty. Personally closed over 610 deals and been a part of over 1,400 deals across the nation. A lot of those are in the state of Oklahoma, but I've also been able to be a part of deals outside of the state of Oklahoma because EXP is an international company. So if you find value or you are looking for more information on how to sell your house or moving to or living in, pros and cons, driving tours, house tours, all those types of things with, that involves Oklahoma real estate, consider subscribing to the channel and then also hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I Check out, check out the channel. I've got playlists built. I've got tons of videos all about Oklahoma real estate. It's awesome. I love it. That's what I do. The team of agents I work with, XP Realty, that's what we do. And as always, for all your real estate needs, you absolutely you got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email so the group of agents that I work with, HP Realty and I, can help you accomplish your Guthrie, Oklahoma home or land sales. All right, now let's get into the questions and answers on today's video. So the first question that National Association of Realtors recommends asking any agent or asking us when you're talking to us about helping you sell your Guthrie, Oklahoma home or land is how long you've been in the business and is it your full-time job? I've been in the business 15 years. When I graduated college, I went to fill out one uh, job application and it took me like four hours to fill out that job application. Well, halfway through college, I took some business classes because I wanted a minor in business and one of those business classes was real estate because I figured, hey, I'm going to buy a house one day. I need to know a little bit about real estate. Well, the instructor was a very motivating speaker and he also happened to be a broker of a small brokerage in the town that I was going to college at. And so I got a real estate license because it looked like it was amazing. It was fun. It was totally cool. And the paychecks blew my mind away. So I started doing real estate halfway through college and that made college last a little bit longer because it was amazing and fun and the paychecks were great. They were amazing. They were actually too great because it made me not want to go to school anymore. It made me just want to sell more houses. So when I graduated college and I filled out that job application 15 years ago, it was like, I could have sold a house. The same amount of time that it took me to fill out a job application, I could have went and showed a new buyer some houses and, and helped them find a new home. Or I could have went and met with a new seller and helped them get their home listed for sale. So I graduated college, degree in business with a minor in real estate finance. And I just been doing real estate ever since. So um, that's what I've done. Is it your full-time job? Yes. I uh, I, I actually, actually feel like uh, being a dad is my full-time job. Like, uh, my wife and I, my wife, we've been very blessed. She's a stay at home mom. And then I do real estate. I work with a bunch of agents throughout the whole state to help accomplish all of our buyers and seller goals. So yes, it's a full-time job. And but at the same time too, like I'm a stay at home dad. So I love my kids because in real estate, especially when I'm helping you as a seller of your Guthrie, Oklahoma home or land, like we're going to meet four times. And the rest of the time, I'm doing so much stuff on the computer. I'm doing so much stuff on the telephone. I'm doing so much stuff on the social media and the YouTube and stuff like that to get your house done and I can do that all out of the luxury of my house you know just like the president he works from the White House I work from the Josh house <laughs> So uh, question number two, comments down below. If you have more questions about that, put them in the comments down below. I'm an open book. I tell everyone they should do real estate because it's an amazing, life-changing job. I absolutely believe it. I absolutely live it. So put comments down below if you have questions on that. I'd be happy to go over them with you. So how many homes do you and your real estate brokerage sell last year? Last year, I think I only did about 46. Let me check that stat real quick. I can actually pull that up for you. I'm basically going to, I got a spreadsheet that, that I track everything on. So 2021 was last 
last year, 46. And then this is 2022, and I've already done uh, 41. So uh, we'll probably hit 46 again. My goal is always to hit 50. I always want to hit 50. That's my goal. But 46 last year, 41 so far for 2022. And then my brokerage, guys, I'm with EXP. Like, we are the largest producing brokerage in the state for this year. So I, I think I saw something that we'd done over like 24 million. Let me see if I can get you that information real quick. I haven't pre-screened these questions, okay? I'm literally doing this live with you on on the uh, video. So I'm getting these answers for you as we're going through it. I didn't pre-screen these questions. I'm just reading them straight from National Association of Realtors because I figured it would be a really good follow-up to our seller series on to know what type of questions to ask my team and I when you're interviewing us to help you sell your Guthrie, Oklahoma home or land. Wow, I am really having to scroll to find that because a couple weeks ago, last week or a couple weeks ago, she just put those stats out on what the whole brokerage had done this year. And I know we're number one in volume. Okay, here it is. Number one in volume. 1,710 units sold, which is actually 4% market share from January 1st to September 6th in 2022. So uh, we're, we're the number one uh, real estate brokerage in volume sold in the whole state, guys. There's a reason I'm at EXP Realty and, and every, and I'm learning more and more mind-blowing stuff about it every day. That's absolutely, I never, that, was, that wasn't a reason I joined EXP Realty because I'm, I'm a very social media person, very video oriented person, very uh, tech person, even though I look like Uncle Fester, that's why I joined EXP Realty. And then all the other stuff that I've learned since I've been there has been absolutely mind blowing on the value and the, the technical stuff that we have to help our sellers get their gut through Oklahoma homes and lands sold. So what designations or certifications do you hold? That's always a funny question. Um, I've actually learned more on YouTube than I've ever learned in, in college even. I, I've learned more on YouTube about how to be a better salesman, to be a better real estate agent than I learned in college and through any of my certifications. There's been uh, one certification that has really fallen in line and been a, been been exactly like a cumulative, you know, affirmation of what I'm doing works. It was a, it was a real estate university course by Pat Hyben and it falls right in line with everything that I was doing by six of the top throughout the nation listing agents. So that really made me feel good that everything I was doing good. But yes, I, designation certifications that you hold, I've got... Uh, I think seven. So certified short sell negotiator at home with diversity, ePro, uh, ABR, something else. And then I've got the listing agent and the buyer's agent for Pat Hyben. And I'm sure there's other certifications that I have, but those, those don't matter. What matters is results. Okay. 610 homes over the last 15 years. I've personally managed the closings on helping out with 1400 closings through the agents that I work with, through my business, through my book of business. That's what you want to know about. You want to know, can you get the job done. Yes. So the certifications that I have, they're cool. They're neat. What I write about them in my diary. Nah, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, how many days does it take you to sell home and how does this compare to others? Great question. I'm so happy that you asked about this. Uh, it depends on if you listen to me on the pricing and on the prepping of the home. So if you prep the home, just like we talk about, and you do everything we just talked about and you price it at market, your home will sell right away. It will literally sell right away because people have to buy a home or they have to rent a home. Now, if you decide that you want to try to get an extra five or $10,000, then what we'll do is in two weeks, if we don't have an offer, in two weeks, if we don't have an offer, then we've got to drop the price down to what we discussed, to what the market is saying. It's not me saying, this is what your home is worth. It's what the market is saying. So people who take our advice on prepping the home and getting it ready for sale and pricing it correctly at the market, they sell right away. So um, how does that stack up to others? I don't know. I don't, I don't sit around and look at other people's stats. I just help my sellers sell sell their homes and land in Guthrie, Oklahoma, and I help buyers go purchase their homes through the team members that I work with throughout the whole state. So I, I don't know how it compares to that. What is the average variation between your listing and final sales price? Oh, great question. And and that goes back to, do are you going to price it at what the market's going to price, say price it at? And are you going to get the house prep, do the declutter, clean, declutter, and clean? If you do that, then it should be 100% ratio, or it should be a little higher. It should be a little higher. So, but if you overprice the home, and you don't do the prep, you don't get it clean and stuff like that, it's going to sell below what, what I originally said to list it at. Because the longer your house is on the market, the more buyers, the more questions that buyers ask, what's wrong with it? Okay. And then those houses that are overpriced usually sell below where they would have if they had just priced it market. So does that make
make sense about sales price to listing price ratio? Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Questions in the comments below. If you have questions, I I'd love to go over questions with you. Um, if you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We can book a Zoom call even. We can look at the comparables just for your home or land in the Guthrie, Oklahoma metro area. That way you're able to see everything that I see if you don't want to do the full-blown listing. If you just want to know what the thing, what houses are going for in the area that are comparable to you and you're not ready to list yet, we can absolutely just do a Zoom call and get that taken care of. Not a problem at all. What specific marketing systems and approaches will you use to sell my house? Uh, video is number one. I, I've got a 360 camera. If you guys watched any of the other videos on my channel, you've seen the 360 camera. You see how cool it is to pause and do it. People can do a virtual open house on your home at any time because of that camera. It is absolutely amazing. It is mind-blowing. People love that camera. And then we do lifestyle videos on your neighborhood to attract people to homes like yours, which also slips in your home. Okay. I've got the YouTube channel, which has buyers calling, texting, and emailing us every day, asking about uh, relocating to, moving to, moving within the Oklahoma City metro area. We do postcards to our sphere, our past customers. So all of our past customers are also knowing that your home's available, which in turn, they'll tell their friends if it's something that they know one of their friends is looking at. We've got the Facebook, the IDX feed. So all 3,500 agents are able to push out all the marketing that I spend my money on to sell your home because I don't get paid till closing. The team of agents I work with, XP Realty, we don't get paid till closing. So all this marketing, all this effort that we're putting in to get your home, your Guthrie, Oklahoma home and land listed as sold, it's our money up front. We're letting all the other agents use that and push it out to their buyers. We're sending all of the agents, all of the buyers that are actively looking for a house like yours. We're making sure that all those agents send that out to all of their buyers through the MLS instantaneously. As soon as it syndicates, it's being syndicated to over hundreds, even thousands of different websites. If you go Google your address, because you're working with a realtor member when you're working with the team of agents that you work with and I, you're not just working with a real estate agent who's not a realtor member who does it Cobra. You're working with a realtor member who syndicates, who makes sure the information of your home is for sale everywhere. And then we also, if it's a home that we think needs it, if it's going to be the whole call in the neighborhood thing, we do that too, but only on a home who needs more work. Like if it's a rehab home, for example, we'll absolutely call everyone right away and try to find a special buyer for that because that's not your typical retail home. So we do tons and tons of marketing, social media marketing, carousel, Facebook ads. We still know how to build those. We build them out for our properties. We have the IDX that we'd already spoken about. And uh, yeah, so we've got a whole 52, uh, 52 ways that the team of agents I work with at XP Realty and I make the whole sale of your house easy. It's inside the seller pamphlet. If you want to copy that, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to give it to you. So will you represent me exclusively or might you also represent the buyer? Oklahoma, you can represent both sides. Let me ask you this. I love this question right away. Do you think a Hyundai car dealer can sell a Lexus? Do you think a Lowe's mower salesman can sell a Kubota? You want, you, it doesn't happen very often. It doesn't happen very often because we are realtor members. We do Cobro. So a lot of agents could be bringing your buyers to your home. But when we bring a buyer to your home, we are putting on the A game. We know every detail about that home. You've walked us through it. We've gone through and videoed it. We've gone through and professional photography it with drone photos typically. We know everything about that home. And you know what? We're making sure that you're getting as much money as possible in the shortest amount of time. That buyer that's coming to buy your home, they need to know everything that we know. Do you think that buyer's agent knows everything that we know as a listing agent? Do you think a Hyundai car salesman can go sell a Lexus? Or does the Lexus dealership take care of selling the Lexus? Does that make sense? That makes sense. So if a buyer calls us, you better believe we're all over them. We're getting them over there. We're pushing them. We're handling objections if there are, but if we're doing our showing correctly, Directly, there will not be any objections. They'll just be ready to buy your home. I love when I get that question answered. Now, how many times has it happened during my career that I've represented both the buyer and the seller? I could probably count it on both hands, maybe seven times, but each time that buyer wanted to buy that house right away. They absolutely did. Uh, next question. Can you recommend service providers who can help me obtain a mortgage, make home repairs and so on? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm always giving out our list of contractors to all of our customers. Um, we're giving out lists of mortgage providers to other customers I've been happy with in the past. That way you're able to interview more than just a couple people. You're able to view, interview list of people to choose who is best for you. So if you need a landscaper, if you need a uh, handyman, if you need a roof guy, if you need, uh, you know, concrete people, we've got them all. We know who they are. You can call and interview them, make their own decision. Um, but that's always entirely between them and you. It's between them and you. It has nothing to do with us. Make sure you put everything in writing and itemize every single repair too that you're having done. That way you both you and the contractor can go through that list and 
be on the same page. Absolutely, we have people that we can recommend to help you obtain a mortgage, make home repairs, and so on. How do you keep me informed about the progress of my transaction? We're gonna be talking more than your significant other. We, you absolutely will. You're gonna get internet traffic updates every week from realtor.com. You're gonna be seeing all of the showing time activity through the showing time app. You're gonna get all the notifications on it. Sometimes sellers get too many notifications. They tell me to turn it off. We're gonna be on the phone talking about things as they come up, come up instantaneously. Even if I get an offer, I still email that offer to you. If I'm on an appointment, I say, hey, here's an offer. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I'm on another appointment. I'll give you a call as soon as I get a chance to look at it and we'll go over it together. Like you're gonna have so much communication. You, you'll probably get to a point where you're like, oh, Josh is calling me again just to give me an update. I'll listen to the voicemail, okay? I get it. But the team of agents that I work with and I at EXP Realty, we want you to know as anything as soon as we know it because it's up to you to make those decisions when it comes to selling one of the most valuable assets that most people have. That's their home or land. So those are the questions. Uh, the last question is, could you please give me the contact information for your uh, three most recent clients? Absolutely. I will give you their contact information. You can call them and see how the transaction went. I do not mind that at all. Yeah, absolutely. Not a problem. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those questions on questions you should ask before hiring my team and I to list your home in Guthrie, Oklahoma or your land in Guthrie, Oklahoma. A couple questions that I would ask you as a seller is, you know, I want to know when is the best time to show your home? That's what I want to know. I need to know your payoff so I can give you the accurate information on your net to seller. I need to make sure that you don't have any HOA liens or you didn't any COVID deferment payments or anything like that. I want to, we just want to make you as well informed as possible. And then also on the showing notifications, we can notify everyone in your family. So everyone knows at the exact same time when showings are, if you want that service, we can absolutely do that guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video today on questions to ask my team and I, uh, before we list your Guthrie, Oklahoma home. So you get a little bit more to know about us and decide if we're the right fit for you. We are, we're the right fit for you. We want to help you sell your Guthrie, Oklahoma home and land. So if you enjoyed that video today, guys, please give it a thumbs thumbs up really helps out the YouTube algorithm and lets other home sellers know in the area too that we're available here to help them. Subscribe to the channel if you like it and check out the rest of the content before you hit subscribe if you want because we do all sorts of videos, driving neighborhood videos, home tours, uh, pros and cons, uh, cool things to know about different parts of the metros throughout the Oklahoma City metro area. So all right guys, I'll see you on the next video.